It's like you're all throwing a party and you want to be the best host possible. You have to decide which one of you will help the audience. We'll tell them where to go. We'll step out of character and say, okay, we're done. Go over there now. So the name of the play is The Great Hunker Down and Dreams of What Comes After. I've not seen my friends in a year. I hate hunkering down. I was so depressed. Why is no one doing the meat? I think I might call Lillian or Snowy. Maybe that will cheer me up. It is a compilation of short scenes written by the students. And we were talking um, very simply about the prompt of what was the experience that we've all just been living through with the with the pandemic and uh, very quickly turned to talking about animals and well how would what how would animals um, what would their experience be and then we also very quickly sort of moved into the realm of magical creatures so the play became sort of an interpretation of experiences through the through what we're calling the great hunker down which was that experience of having to quarantine why is she wearing a mask isn't Halloween is it no. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Where's it coming from? The fox! Yikes! Play in the world of the quarantine! Thank you for shopping at the dog store. Due to COVID-19, we must ask you to please leave the dog store. What? Due to the spreading small gunk, this shop is going into quarantine. No additional information is going to be spoken furthermore. Thank you, and we apologize for any inconvenience. Dana was our leader. She really allowed the students to create this entire work of art. They wrote their scripts. They made changes to their scripts. Nice to meet you too. Friends? Friends. Yes, yeah, they friends! They incorporated each other into their scripts. They solved problems. And they put together this outdoor traveling theater show at the tail end of a global pandemic with all sorts of obstacles and challenges. We're going to have a game. We were going to swim, and COVID-19 came along and ruined it all. Hopefully we can have other Zoom calls. Bye. The prompt was to find a main animal that they could be, but of course their creativity brought it to all these imaginary animals, and Dana found like that to be really cool. So it was really neat, and how it had kind of this like, you know, unifying trend of of being in Maine and being in Maine during interesting times. Let's go see our friends! But we can't, it's not over. It's never going to end! Calm down, calm down, it's fine. We can still hang out together. John, wait, no! We still have to social distance. Everything's been really adapted really thoughtfully and, and the kids have had a lot of fun with it, designing their costumes and everything. Dana is just probably one of the most flexible people I've ever met in my life. The fact that she can just roll with anything and who knows what she's created for today, but I'm sure it's going to be marvelous. Welcome to the school play. Full disclosure, we haven't done this before. We don't really know what we're getting into, but we've had a lot of fun and we hope you have fun too. Uh, this is uh, maybe not so much a traditional play as a moving outdoor spectacle. So there's stuff happening everywhere, all around you at all times. I think there's something about nature and play. It allowed them and invited them to play and to be, uh, the, their imaginations were just inspired by what they saw around them. Who are you? I've been all over this forest and yet I have seen nothing like you. Are you a griffin? I haven't seen one of those in years. Yes, I am a griffin. I am Midnight Moon Soul, griffin of Volcano Island. The school, the school property, the playground, the environs have become transformed um, by the kids' imaginations. And as an artist, as a theater artist, I'm always looking for opportunities to transform the space for the audience and for the actors. The kids did it. They, they just transformed all of us into a magical place. My last year in the school, so it's like a good way to connect with everybody for a last time. And it's the fun thing that I really like doing that I've done since I was in second grade, and I've loved it every single year. Of course, this year it's different because of COVID, masks, and all the social distancing rules that we have. But 
somehow Dana's found a way to make it work, which I think is absolutely awesome.